All right, so what brings you to Omegle today? Boredom. <laughs> I'm just I'm just messing around, making jokes, having fun. Nice, dude. My uh, uncle always used to do that that thumb trick. Yeah, it's it's that that's kind of why I like it. Yeah, it's great. It's a classic. Parents, it's, yeah. it's cute. Yeah. So um, yeah. So uh, let, let's just ask a little bit about like a uh, little bit about you. So like, yeah. what are what are some of your interests? What are some of where do you come from? I'm a. Uh, I'd rather not talk about where I come from, but I like uh, 3D animation. Right. Animation to me is really cool. I like the medium. Are you Are you in school think, for stuff like that? Uh, used to be. Uh, maybe, maybe. Okay. Okay. And um, is that is that like one of your dreams? I guess. I mean, I've kind of already done everything I want with it, but someday being a technical anime might be kind of cool. Very cool. And, mm. um, great. So, um, what are some things that you think are important that, that, uh, people, that you think people should know about or people should be talking about these days? Uh, there's a lot. Um, I mean, a lot of stuff people are already talking about, like, I mean, I'm. My brother would probably have a question for if have an answer for this question in like two seconds, but I don't. Okay. Well, it, it that's okay. If anything, that that shows that you're kind of maybe thinking about it a little more thoroughly or letting it drop in, right? Or I just don't care. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Could you actually I, talk? I could you talk about that a little bit? About about what? What like, what um. Well, why don't why do you think you don't care about certain things? There's some things like I of course politics are important and stuff and I, I get a good knowledge of that. I have sources and stuff. But like some things I just don't really want to put the effort into researching and stuff. And I I my brother is like way on that. He is a he's a Paul I I don't know. I guess I just don't want to put the effort. It seems kind of pointless, you know. Yeah. Maybe well, I, I could be I could be using that time improving a skill I got, or, you know, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. So, so so like you look at, are you over the age of eighteen? Can I ask? No, I'm not. You're not. Okay. So like you I look at. Soon. Oh, great. So like you look at at least the politics these days, right? Like, seventy-four million people voted for Trump. Uh, 81 million people voted for Biden and something like 85 million people who were of age to vote didn't. So there are a lot of people, actually, yeah, a, a, large, my, a large minority feel like <laughs> it doesn't matter to them either, you know? And so, like, why do you think that that is? People either don't care, they secretly don't care, or they just... I, I heard once, I asked the guy why he didn't vote. He said he, uh, he there was no candidate that he 100% agreed with, so he didn't want to vote. Because no matter what would happen, he'd get somebody he wasn't uh, cool about. But to get somebody he's cool about, he's got to like build up, you know, to the vote for the right candidates, I think. I, I'm... I, I'm not hundred percent sure if that's how it works. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's best to vote for a candidate, you know, like. So when you turn eighteen, you think you're going to you you yeah definitely want to vote. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are some of the values that you think you hold most importantly to you? Value, well, I mean, then like a candidate. No, I guess for you, like for you, if you were to elect like the perfect candidate. Like, what would they stand for and what would they say, you think? Oh, boy, I might say a couple wrong things here because... That's oh okay. My God, you're wearing a, you're wearing I a wish, mask, dude. You're I okay. Wish, I, I wish I, I was my brother right now so I could answer these questions, but... Okay. Of course, like, I wanted to genuinely care about the country. That That's, like, 
one general thing, I guess. Uh, I guess. I'm trying to think about the specifics. God. Yeah, I'm so bad at talking oh, about the okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right, man. This is not... This isn't like a test or anything. Yeah. This, what this uh, is is just you, like, talking about the things that are on your mind, you know? And, and if things aren't on your mind, it's bringing things up that for you to think about later. You know, this is not a test. There's no right answer. Well, the rally thing, of course... I don't want a president that does what Trump did. Uh, I don't want a president... <sighs> this is hard. I can't. <laughs> I wish I was... If you were talking to my brother, I'd not my brother. Well, this is, some, this is something that's interesting. That, that like Because you you continue to mention your brother, and it's like... Um, no, your, brother one, has, your brother has different opinions than you, right? Like, you're different people. Yeah. But I mean, he, 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 we're just talking kind of politically here, and he's like the first thing I think about when I think politics because he's a big politic guy. So, for you, what are the things that differentiate you from your brother? I mean, he's. Oh. Well, I don't want to get per, like into personal kind of. I mean, of course, this is personal stuff, but not like. He, mm, I'm so bad at talking. He, he's more of a kind of meme person, you know. He he likes meme and politics, fifty fifty on that, you know. I'm I'm less of a meme guy. I'm not much of a meme guy. I like kind of twenty ten memes of the best. Pog is gone. I just remembered. Okay. Oh, yes. No, no. Um, well, well, yeah. I, I'm, 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 I don't really know. Like, I don't really understand what you're saying. Like, by meme, do you mean like meme? Memes, yeah. Like me, and like and he, so, he's, and, and he's so, a really silly guy. Yeah, he's a really silly guy, but also fifty percent, fifty fifty. He's really silly and meme, you know. And the other time, he's like really politic and depressed all the time. You know, I'm not really a hundred percent that. I'm more like. In the middle. So yeah. you're so so. How would so he's like Mimi and then serious depressed. How would you? He just has like a lot of mood swings, you know. Interesting. And for you, how would you describe your? I mean yourself. I feel I don't have as many mood swings, but at my age, I I don't know. I might. I I won't be able to tell. I, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I'm so, pretty sure I'm just so like, why do you, most of the time how I am. So what is that? Um, where do you think that comes from? Like, why do you think you... It sounds like, from my end, like, you are more even keel, is like what you're saying. Yeah. So for you, like, what, what do you think it is about you that, that makes you even keel? I guess I can kind of see how things happen you know mm. i can see i i guess i kind of see a big good picture so i don't get stuck in one areas of the picture i guess you know something like that interesting ha, are, have you um that's interesting do you think that did, did you ever grow up religious at all sort of not really though we Is, like we're like my grandparents are incredibly christian but uh, my my current like family isn't really at all. And what about you? What is your thought of, of all of it? Religion and God? Probably isn't real, but I mean, I'm pretty sure the point of it is just to give people hope and stuff. And I'm like, mm. so it's mm. fine with me. Mm. That relig So you believe that religion is it exists to provide hope for people. Yeah, it's the f to put you to bed, you know? Mm. I personally am able to accept, so I don't really need to believe. Wow. What do you think is an, a problem that we have in our... in? What is a problem that you, that you think 
our society or our culture has? Is this something uh, that you think about or, or that you care about? There are, things, there are things that I think about, but I'm not really ever 100% sure. Like, I, I feel it's kind of a weird how women and men can say different things. Like, uh, yeah. I'm trying to think of an example. Um, like, however, but like how we can kind of say different, get away with different things. I think that's kind of weird. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Interesting. Yeah, what, what makes you think about that? Is that like a like in, in terms of like relationships? You think or is I, that... I just I just see people say some things and I imagine oh well if he was a male would he would he be able to get away with that? Ah, well, is there something in particular that someone I'm said? I'm trying to think of a specific, but I just know sometimes I think that that it'd be different if you were a male or female. That's that's it is absolutely true, right? Like and of course they are different. Like we, they're just our brains are of, of course different in ways. But I think like society expects different things from us, right? Like at least in relationships, which is where my mind goes. It's like the guy always has to be assertive, or rare, like very often needs to assert if he's interested in a woman, right? Like you rarely see a woman being assertive to to meet up with a guy or start dating a guy you know do you find that mm. have you found that ever uh in my in where i live what how i live no i don't really see that but i'm sure it exists oh cool so what because is your my, my sister my sister brought they got my boy his her boyfriend like that oh cool that's like being cool. sort of a man she my sister is a lot more assertive than him yeah Interesting. I think. I know. Yeah. Well, um, I, and you know, like everyone has different. This is totally the reason that I, that this like YouTube channel even exists is because now I'm glad that you said that because now it's like, it's maybe it's just my experience. I th yeah, it is just my, ex it, it is my experience, but there are other experiences that people are living different lives than me. You know, I get so in my head, Yeah. you know, we all do. I mean, there's uh, some of the time there's no one else's head you can be in, though. Right? Mm. Um, mm. I, you know, I keep asking you about society and culture and stuff, and I guess I'm I'm interested in hearing something that you, what what is something that really excites you? Something that excites me. Yeah. Uh. Of. Uh, it's a. I like when people all can like like something together. You know, like SpongeBob. Everybody likes SpongeBob. I kind of like that. That when everybody likes something like that. Oh, you're a peacekeeper, man. You are. <laughs> you're. A no. Um. Uh. Real quick, I don't like the police. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, my name is Kenny, by the way. I, you know, you have this weird guy, Don Omega, that's talking just, to you. That's kind of what I thought your name was, actually. Really? Yeah. Let's see. If I had to guess your name, it would be Brandon. No, my name starts with a T. A T? That's all I'm going to say. Got to keep the mystery. Okay. T. How many letters? Uh, I'm uh, 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 more than three. Tyler? More than three. No. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to say. Okay. You didn't, I'm not okay. Gonna okay, that's fair. Yeah. Usually with these videos, I put like the name, like whatever the person likes to go by, that, and also the state that they live in. That's every like uh, I've talked to people from like tons of different places, and it's it's um. It's interesting to hear the different perspectives from people in different parts of the world. Well, usually the, the online alias I use is Nimfodder. What it, actually type that in and I'll put that as the, the title for the... I'm okay with sharing that. Nymphodder, great. Yeah, that'll be, uh, that'll be the, the name of the video. 
Hmm. Omegle talk number, I think, 228 or something. Wow. What did you say? I, no, no, I, I was, forgot my... Yeah, I was just saying yeah. that that, will, that that name will be on your video. Uh, that's how you how you'll go by. What what uh -huh. is some what is some um, what what is some advice that you would give to people watching? Uh, well, don't be depressed. I guess like, yes, we're gonna die and stuff, but. Who cares? Have fun. Like, <laughs> don't don't let anything not let you have fun. You know. <laughs> I don't see why you can't have a happy, uh, at least on the inside. I don't see why you can't be happy. You know. Mm. If just realize, you know, the the world is small. Like every everybody says this. Every, the, everything is small. We're we're dusts. We're specks. Who cares? Have fun. Don't, yeah, don't get down. There's no yeah. point in being down. It's so tough, right? Because it's like the world is so small. We're a little piece of dirt circling a little bit of light in a cosmos that has hundreds of trillions, if not quintillion, quintillion like galaxies, you know? And that's kind of great because we don't got any expe expectations to fill, you know? We can just have fun. But then, like, I mean, I'll get, I'm going to get philosophical here and play oh. devil's advocate. I mean, not, it's not devil's advocate because I believe it. But, like, if everyone, like, if you, if having fun for people meant, like, going and, like, murdering each other. Well, you should probably get fixed. You know, but, like, if people. If people think that, just, just do something else that you have fun with. Don't don't like be an ass. Have fun, but don't be an ass. Yeah, that's going on a shirt. Why, why are you gonna be an ass? That other you <laughs> want other other people gotta have fun too. You know, we gotta work together. Yeah, don't have hurt fun, people. Don't, be an ass. don't hurt Of of course, like we go to jobs and stuff. Of course, and that that's not fun, but it all leads up to having fun. You know, the progression of wealth to have fun. Well, what, 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 what's the point in getting all the money and stuff? Fun, so we can have fun, so we can do stuff. If you had all the money in the world, what would you be? What would you do? I fucking kill myself because fuck the rich. I no. Okay, wait. That I, that was way too general. Not, not in, okay, forget I said that. But uh, I give it a ton of it away. Uh, like a whole lot of it away. Mm. Like if we're talking all the money in the world, 90%. Let's say a billion dollars. Let's say like as much as like Steven Spielberg has. He has like four billion or something. Uh, probably give a lot of it away, yeah. Of course, like it's nice to have cool things. I get I get a couple cool things for myself, you know. Maybe a nice house, whatever. But I'd give a lot of it away. Still, I w I don't need a billion dollars. Who needs a billion dollars? I don't. I the homeless need a billion dollars. I don't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, dude. Actually, you you gotta check my channel out because I've been talking to homeless people lately. Homeless people are on a megal? No, no. I go out into the community and. and oh. <laughs> what I think. Yeah. Well, actually, there was a there was a guy who was homeless who was in a Salvation Army. He doesn't have a home, and uh, he was on it. Yeah, I talked to him. Talked to him for a while. It's crazy that the the kinds of people. And their a stories. lot of, a lot of bums are just bums because. They're not bums. They're just the uh, unlucky. You know, they're dirty and stuff. They can't get a job. And then people call them bums because go get a job. He can't get a job. He needs to get cleaned up because nobody will accept. Will like hire a dirty guy, uh, no filthy guy. You know. Yeah, it's just like a catch twenty two. It's like a vicious gotta be, cycle. Gotta be cleaned up. Let him get a job like that, you know? Dude, this is nuts. I was talking to ho some homeless people, right? And um, I actually haven't told the story on my channel yet um, because I've, like, talked to people 
outside of filming them, right? Because um, not everyone wants to be filmed. But like there, I was talking to, so I, I like lived in Sarasota, I just moved, but some people in Sarasota, homeless people in Sarasota were saying that there are two groups of homeless people. There are the people, the homeless people that stick together, who go to like the homeless shelters, right? Like Salvation Army and Resurrection House is one. And then there are the homeless people that stay to themselves, who are like kind of, you just see them by themselves, you know, like hanging out, not like sitting out in the rain. And I talked to some of those independent homeless people and they were saying that they don't hang out in the groups because those groups, they all steal from each other. And when they go into Salvation Armies and Resurrection House and stuff, that's where they sell drugs. That's where they go to get drugs. Yeah, there are some people like that. So when you see people like homeless people who are like independent, those people just are trying to stay away from the bad crowd and are trying to do it on their own. But then how can you do it on your own and have the resources to get back on your feet? It just it it just continues to downward spiral. Just got to get lucky. Guys, hope you get lucky. Hope maybe somebody gives you a ton of money and you can take a shower or something, you know? And somehow get lucky. It like what else can you do but that? I think that's why they're but that's what they do. They have like the ten things, you know? Yeah, but I think I think the gov I think government could help people. They definitely could. They you definitely know? should. They then they do already, they definitely should do more. Uh, don't get me started. I am, uh, yeah, I'm all, yeah. It's just so rough to see people who, like, I sit down and I talk to them for, like, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and they're good people. They've just had a turn of bad luck. They've had strokes. They lost, One guy lost his leg to diabetes. And you're like, these people just need help. Like, give them some help, and, and it's just rough. I, I don't know. I just get mad, you know? I get mad. What do you get mad about? Um, I try not to get mad. Uh, okay, I, I, something's coming to my mind that I get mad about. I'm trying to think what it is. Uh, uh, Sorry, right. trust your gut. Trust your gut. Equal, you know? What was the word? In inequality, kind of. I I don't like it when one person is like, "Oh, I'm so much better than you." I I like people being equal. I don't I don't like that. That mm -hmm. annoys. I don't like tons of people worshiping one person like that kind of. You know, unless like they. I mean, I guess. Maybe not that last thing I said. Hmm. Well, what? Uh, I like people being equal because you can worship somebody and they still be on your level. You just like, hey, I like you, you know. Yeah, you yeah. admire. Yeah, you can admire a peer who's like badass. Yeah, admiration, totally. Oh well, well, Nim fodder. This was a really nice talk. I. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these, and uh, you've been a really cool, laid back dude, and I really appreciate it. Uh, no problem, I guess. Any last words or thoughts that you would want to uh, uh, say? I don't know. I don't know if I did this earlier. I think I did, but I'm going to do it again because it's fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did do that. Anymore. Awesome. So, um, what state should I put that you're from? Uh, the moon, Mars. Uh, no, but yeah. act, but actually, like a state, <laughs> just a state. I mean, do you, do you have to put a state? Yeah, because it's like a general cultural okay. thing. Uh, I'll, I'll just give you a state I'd like to live in. I, or, like, I just like a state. I know New York is kind of messy sometimes, but I kind of like the vibe, as the kids would say, vibe. I, I am a kid, but as, as they would say, I kind of like the vibe New York has sometimes. So, I guess New York. Okay. All right. That's fair. That's fair. I, I need to... I need to allow myself to accept that instead of <laughs> I'm just like, no, 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 like, okay, give me a state. I need to, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what you feel comfortable I've, with. I've, I've been in New York before. I feel comfortable there. So uh, if you, 
if that makes it any better. But I'd rather yeah. not give my state. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, absolutely. That's what you're comfortable with, and I think, that, yeah, it's that's absolutely appropriate. Um, so I'm going to upload this video uh, in the next 10 or 20 minutes. So make sure to go to building underscore bridges and subscribe so that you can see your video pop up. Okay. Uh, I think I'd rather not see it to be honest. Okay. Well, help me out with a subs with a sub <laughs> at least. <laughs> sure, man. I guess. Help, help. You know, I'm trying to. It's so important to listen to each other's stories. That's what I'm. That's my real goal here, you know. Because we, like, a lot of people just don't listen to each other. We need to listen to each other. If we, if we want to balance things out, we have to listen. Hmm. No. Yeah, I mean, you know, the coming something. Wait, say yeah, that again. Yeah, you, you gotta listen. Yeah. I'm getting I'm getting burnt out here. <laughs> yeah, man, me too, dude. Okay, well, it was it was nice. Thank you for sticking around and for and for talking. You know, appreciate it. Yeah, right. was not expecting this. I <laughs> thought we were just I thought I was just gonna meme with some folk. Nah, man, this is this is um, yeah, we're talking about stuff that matters. We all are part of it, you know. So. Mm. Thanks, dude. <laughs> uh, maybe I have something. I oh. Pick this up. Cat shorts. Yes! I'm, they're not shorts, they're swimwear, but I have them. Yes. All right. Nim Fodder. Guy with the letter T for the first letter of his name. We'll talk soon. See ya. Bye. Um. Wow. So interesting. Yeah. We are all part of this. We're all in this together. And some people just, um, a lot of people, it, it's a lot. It's a huge responsibility that we have. But all we have to do is take it a day at a time, listen to people, stay open, stay aware, and stay informed, you know? If people don't like the inequality, Accept some responsibility and do your part. Listen, you know, you know, get out there and listen. Thank you guys. And uh, here with my uh, yin and yang tapestry in my new spot. So thank you guys for all the support and um, be seeing you guys soon. Bye.